Lynn cried herself to sleep, and I went grimly out, looking for opium. I had smoked occasional pellets in Kotobaru and in Brunei Town. Going to shop after shop, I revised the vocabulary of opium taking. I found at the back of a shop that sold crockery, old Brunei hand indeed, two very old Chinese puffing gently. I was courteously offered a pipe and heated pellet. I squatted and joined the smokers. I didn't go into a De Quincey trance. I relaxed enough to see time, not as an a priori Kantian category, but as a very subjective and flexible dimension, pullable, like latex. Later, abetted by an ailing liver, the bad visions would come.